If you are a small business and trying to create a plan of action to protect your business through the coronavirus pandemic, stay tuned. I have four steps that you can take to help you navigate through these hard, uncertain times. As the coronavirus continues to spread, small businesses everywhere are trying to come up with new strategies to protect each other from this devastating virus. I've been working with some local small businesses and nonprofits on steps they can take to mitigate losses and to put their business on a clear path to navigate through these uncertain times. So here are four steps I propose to keep your business moving forward. forward. Step one, make sure all your policies and procedures and your messaging should focus on protecting your employees, your customers, and ultimately your stakeholders. It is important to communicate regularly with your team, with your customers, and tell them what steps you are taking to make sure the business environment is safe and has lowered the possibility of viral transmission. This level of transparency will put employees and customers' minds at ease. I suggest doing this through social media platforms, email, and or telephone. If you have to do this in person, please use social distance guidelines given by the CDC. Step two, protect your business. In this step, you need to delegate a point person to stay in contact with customers and suppliers and let them know about any disruption to service, to product distribution, and if you are a brick and mortar store, front, let customers know of any changes to times of service. In this step, it is really important to pay attention to your top customers. I normally talk to businesses about following the 80-20 rule, which basically means this, 80% of your business's revenue will come from 20% of your loyal customer base. Assign someone to these important people who are loyal to your business. Step three, protect your liquidity. Be prepared for the worst case scenario. This means communicate with your preferred lender and have a strategy in place of what it looks like if your business is shut down for 15 to 30 days. I would re recommend talking to your insurance agent to see if there are any provisions in place for business interruptions. Step four, pay attention to federal, state, and local laws and guidelines that are in place to support you and or your stakeholders. For example, as of March 18th, Congress passed the Family First Coronavirus Response Act. This bill focuses on paid sick leave for workers, allows for free testing and funding increases for food assistance programs. And I have left a link to the floridahealth.gov website to give information to you to help during this time. Hopefully this helps our small businesses and local organizations get through these hard times. If you feel this video is helpful, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Last but not least, if you are in my home state of Florida and have questions about COVID-19, please call 1-866-779-6121. Thanks, and take care of yourselves and each other.